identifier BAC386001. So you know your pencil has this property and this value. I, I summarize this on the next slide, so don't worry, you don't have to learn that by heart. Okay. So the class ID for describing a pencil is AKF303003. In E class, all classes have this identifier plus the prefix C underscore and dash gen. Forget that, uh, well, use it, but the backgrounds require additional explanation. Okay. So the class of actual pencils has always the URI, base URI, echo is the prefix, C underscore the original identifier dash gen. Don't forget the dash gen. Okay. Then the properties for the length, you have that identifier and the um, URI is echo, or the QE is echo colon P underscore and then the identifier. Design of tip state has this identifier, so the property, same pattern, P for property underscore BAG 073001. So for the class, the prefix is C underscore, the ID, and then you have to attach dash gen. For properties, it's just P underscore, and for values, it's uh, we underscore the ID of the value. That is necessary because the spaces for those identifiers are partly overlapping and you need to keep apart uh, values. But that's work that has been done back in 2006, so that is, has been available for long. Okay, now if you want to use that to describe an actual pencil with a pointed tip and a length of 150 millimeters, you define foo my pencil and say, it is an instance of pencil. It is a pencil. A, eco, C, underscore, AKF, 303, 303, dash, gen. 